a song, a book, and a dish. On 702. It's that time of the week where we do what we call a song, a book, and a dish. It's where we meet somebody that you already think you know pretty well. But in their telling of what is a favorite song, what is a memorable book, what about food stirs up memories of family and friends, we get to know some other things about them. My guest is formerly the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Johannesburg. He is one of South Africa's most acclaimed and admired academics, and we're delighted to welcome to 702 Drive, Professor Chilizi Marwala. Prof, welcome. It's good to have you with us. No, thank you very much uh, for uh, inviting me. I am uh, here in Tokyo, and I am looking for participating in the show. So Tokyo is a long, long way from the place where you grew up, Dutuni, uh, 15 kilometers more or less east of Toyendo. What were the best things about growing up in a, a small Limpopo village in South Africa? What did you learn from that background? Well, I think, uh, firstly, I have to say that I had a very happy childhood. I, I thought my father was strict. <laughs> Uh, but when he became older, I realized that my father was soft. And my father <laughs> was a math teacher. Yes. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and, uh, and he really, uh, when I think of a teacher, somebody teaching me mathematics, I think of my father. Uh, when I come back from school, he will say, hey, show me your books. Uh, or come and read this for me, yes. you know, and so on and so forth. You are not reading, you are memorizing. <laughs> you know, you are memorizing the words, you are not reading what you are seeing, you know. So I had a very happy childhood. I was I was educated uh, uh, in Venda. I, I finished the high school at Mbiri Secondary School. And when I was uh, in high school, something special happened, mm-hmm. you know. I actually won the National Science Olympiad. Uh, which is not very common for people who come from that part of the world. And and, and what and what what year was that, Prof? Nineteen eighty nine National Youth Science Olympiad. Okay. And as a result of that, remember, I've never even been to Johannesburg. As a result of that, I came to Johannesburg, very impressed to attend the National Science Week. That was impressive. But on top of that, I had to go to England. Uh, to attend the national, uh, international now, no longer um, national, international youth science forum. And uh, I managed to visit uh, universities of Oxford and Cambridge. Of course, I went and did a PhD in artificial intelligence at the University of Cambridge. And we were actually having all our events next to the Science Museum in South South Kensington at a university called Imperial College. Yes, famous. And, and, and of course, uh, that is where I started my academic career. That is my first academic job was actually at Imperial College. Prof, I wanted to go back to your, your home in Dutuni, your parents, Katuzelo and, and, and Shavani. Um, I, we asked you to, to choose a favorite dish and you said seafood ramen, which I'm assuming was not uh, regularly on the table in the Marwala household. But with <laughs> but with, with four children, you the oldest, and two parents, uh, your mom working, uh, your parents working as a teacher and an administrator, respectively. W- what happened at mealtimes? You spoke about how you came home and your dad said, let me see the books, do some reading and so on. Round the table, take us there. What yeah. was being eaten, and yeah. more more interestingly, what was yeah. being said? You see, uh, 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 the house where we lived, it turns out that uh, we actually did not own the house. Right. You know? it, it was owned by my grandparents, you know, my father's uh, father and my father's mother, you know. And they both of them stayed with us. They were the owners of the house. Of course, my father had uh, built a, fin- uh, a, a much more modern uh, house. Uh, 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 it was the, the, the middle of, uh, of the 80s. Uh, so, and, uh, 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 and, and my grandfather was, uh, was an inspiring man. He yes. couldn't read or write, you know. Right. And, uh, but he could uh, more or less read numbers, uh, pronounce them quite, 
uh, terribly now when I think about it, you know. Uh, and, uh, and 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 my growing up, I remember, and we used to watch in the river. Mm-hmm. I would uh, walk my grandfather to the river to wash with him. I was always with him, you know. Of course, he died uh, in 1982, or when I was doing standard D three. Right. You know, I remember that very, very, very well. You know. Then the other person was my grandmother, and my grandmother was a very, very sophisticated uh, woman. In fact, there is a picture of her here in uh, in Tokyo overlooking uh, my desk. I'm sure you can see it uh, yes. on Zoom, you know. Uh, 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 and she couldn't read or write, but she was a wise woman. She used to make play pots, she used to make maths, and in many ways I would say she was my first engineering teacher. Professor, I want to I want to jump a little and ask you about the book that you've you've chosen. Clearly uh, you're in an environment where there are there's formal education, you're at an excellent school, and the book you've chosen is, and, and then there's all the other informal things you're learning from the wisdom of the elders around you, which makes your book choice very interesting. Dan Kahneman uh, has written a book called Thinking Fast and Slow. He's a Nobel Prize winning economist, um, and it's a book about the kind of psychology of judgment and decision making i'm i'm being enormously simplistic here of all the books you've read why why is this one so special to you well i i just think that decision making is a very important aspect of our lives and decision making uh, uh, is evolving and it is uh, increasingly making human beings irrelevant uh, because uh, the stock price that at uh, Traditionally, somebody will sit, does the calculations and make a judgment call. It's now being uh, industrial. The automation is being industrialized. It's called high frequency uh, trading. Right. Uh, uh, the role of artificial intelligence in decision making uh, is absolutely quite central. I like the book because it it reminds us of who we are. Uh, imperfect. Uh, uh, make decisions based on heuristics uh, rather than hard facts. Uh, uh, our decision making uh, depends on what we have eaten, uh, whether we drank a little bit too much or we have not drank uh, too much. The mood is very, very important. Sleep. And, and, and then, Kahneman, and sleep, it, so it reminds us of who we are, you know. But at the same time, I think uh, uh, the role of artificial intelligence in decision making is actually to make behavioral science irrelevant. And already, uh, 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 in many ways, it is uh, removing this uh, human judgment in yes. decision making and thereby forcing us to start studying a new form of psychology. And that is the psychology of machines. Yeah. So they have their own psychology. And how do we study it? Finally, just to come to your song, it's a, it's an interesting choice. The band is Guns N' Roses. The song is called Welcome to the Jungle. It's, it's off their debut album back in 1987. When did you start becoming interested in this kind of music? And, and what in particular do you love about Guns N' Roses? You know, I encountered Guns and Roses in 1989 when I went to London. Mm-hmm. The American kids, because it obviously it was an international conference, were blasting that uh, uh, that intro. I mean, it was uh, amazing. Of course, Slash is uh, is the guitarist uh, uh, in, in there. You know, uh, Axel Rose, obviously. Um, it was uh, it's not particularly a singer. Uh, it's not particularly. It's a little bit of a bad boy. Uh, but the combination of uh, you know uh, uh, you know the words, the <laughs> I mean, it's like it's it, it's rocking. Uh, you know, uh, it is rocking. You know, and uh, I love it. You know, 
Uh, I love it so much that uh, uh, my son, who is now at university, yes, uh, loved it very, very much when he was still young, you know. Uh, so, yeah, Dante Rus is, uh, uh, they know their stuff. They knew their stuff, obviously, now, uh, 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 you know, they have disintegrated, uh, yeah. Yeah, so and of course it's not just uh, Guns N' Roses. Uh, that uh, November Rain is uh, a fantastic one. Uh, it came when I was an undergrad student uh, uh, in, in the United States. The remake of Knocking on Heaven's Day uh, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, 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 oh, sweet child of mine, I still uh, play it today, and I am absolutely. Uh, rocking when I listen to that. Uh, you can see that uh, I am a, a bit of a fan of uh, Dante Jones's. Professor Chilizi Marwala, thank you so much for sharing with us your song, your book, and your dish on 702 Drive. Thank you very